Thank you so much for staying with us. 2,000 women and youths in Kwara State are beneficiaries from the Future Assured program of the wife of the president. The representative of Mrs. Aisha Buhari, the wife of the Kwara State Governor, Omolewa Ahmed, has asked the beneficiaries to take advantage of the program by learning the necessary skills. In Kwara State, 2,000 beneficiaries are expected to be trained in a number of small-scale businesses, which include plumbing, hairdressing, and soap making. The State Commissioner for Women Affairs urges the lucky beneficiaries to be serious with the training, as it will enhance their economic well-being. You have the opportunity today to have been selected as one of the beneficiaries. Don't misuse your opportunity. It has never been like this before. We have the absence of opportunity, but the first lady of Nigeria has now brought this one to us. That let your people have acquired skills, professional training. We are going to train all sorts of trades. Make use of it. The Commissioner for Information highlights the importance of programs directed at women to the Kwara State Government. The Kwara State Government is happy for this development of such programs coming to Kwara and will continue to create the enabling environment. We'll continue to invite willing partners to come and join hands in developing Kwara and supporting policies and programs of the Kwara State Government. The women folk encouraged by the wife of the state governor are told to embrace the training, assuring that whoever excels at the end of it will be given equipment to start their vocation. Your level of attendance, your level of attention, after the program there is going to be an exam that will be conducted. Yes, this is not just a political program. This is an empowerment program that we want you to yield the two-week program, which will cover 12 vocations, is towards ensuring the participants are empowered economically. The Nigerian Customs Service has intensified its examination of all goods imported into the country, especially through the port, after uncovering some important arms in the, in the last few months. The area controller, Port Harcourt 2 Command, Controller Abubakar Bashir reeled out how much the agency has generated as at September. There has been a 45% increase in revenue generated from other sources as a result of improvements in assessed values and interventions. The revenue collected by the command from first to the third quarter of the year 2017 stood at 71.8 billion, which is 1.4 billion naira higher than the total revenue collected in the same period of the year 2016. At the end of the third quarter, the command had generated 63.85% of our annual target. Hopefully, the command will surpass its target of 112.5 billion naira at the end of the financial year. The wife of the president, Aisha Buhari, has called for a probe into the budget of 3.2 billion naira for the State House Medical Center at the presidential villa Abuja. She made a call at a meeting of the wives of the 36 state governors, which is discussing reproductive, maternal, newborn child, and adolescent health care. Mrs. Buhari criticized the lack of facilities at the clinic in spite of the huge budget alloc allocation for the center. The president's wife said she refused to go abroad for treatment when she was ill a few weeks ago because of the existence of a medical center, which she wanted to patronize but discovered it was in a poor state. That's the program today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Melinda Chan.